What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back again with another video. So we gotta talk about me and the homie Dubs and Trill Billies and Sir Dance a lot and Nisha. The whole in the clutch squad, our ex first wrestling experience. This was the first time we actually went to a wrestling show and we had a great time. Um, we want to give a shout out to uh brad gilmore and booker t for inviting us to reality of wrestling uh this is booker t's uh um, promotion and you know and he has his wrestling school as well you know part of his wrestling school in their promotion and uh they invited us out to uh experience um yesterday's event summer of champions 10 uh, it was such a great time and it was it was really cool to meet some some dope individuals out there man um some up and coming stars and some legends you know meeting uh booker t was a, a really really dope experience man and you know we had a, a really great time just being you know backstage uh with him and you know he was you know good energy good spirits uh meeting brad for the first time as well he, he apparently he had uh seen had been watching our in the clutch channel for a minute and he uh enjoyed our uh reaction to the drake and kendrick beef and you know he was watching us and you know wanted to get in contact with us so meeting him was dope um we also got to meet teddy long that was pretty cool. He hit the holla holla and told uh, Brandon Trillbilly he's going to be going one on one with The Undertaker. We saw the boogeyman out there. Um, actually, for those who don't know, um, we actually uh, are cool with Mark Henry. Shout out to Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. We actually had been. Uh, chopping it up with him before we went to the event we uh went out to eat and stuff like that at a restaurant called um gringo's a mexican restaurant and we met mark henry through jacob henry um had been subscribed to the in the clutch channel for years and he was like yeah my dad is mark henry i definitely got to introduce y'all and that's how we got in contact with mark henry and mark henry came into town to do a car show event and we was telling him that we was going to go to reality of wrestling later on that day so he decided to you know pull up and we all you know went to the show he didn't even plan on being there but he pulled up anyway so we appreciate you mark for pulling up to the show um it, it was it was really a dope experience um we also got to talk about the homie zilla fought too this is my first time actually meeting him in person uh we communicated on instagram and anytime he went live he's like hey bro we got a link up in the city so it was cool to meet him and you know just chop it up with him cool dude man he is the next one up there's no doubt about it he's the next guy up and he is the uh reality of wrestling new uh, world champ uh their top champion right now he uh had a match in the main event and when i say my man's or is over a thousand and it makes sense and maybe one day he will be a part of the wwe bloodline it makes sense because when he came out there it was the loudest that venue was the entire night there was a decent amount of people there it was actually packed it was kind of hot in the place we was at and everybody was standing on their feet yelling his name like it was such a cool moment and that match was really fun and for him to win the um reality of wrestling uh championship um their main title it was so dope to see that um i believe they actually had new sets of championship belts so him winning that and getting a you deserve a chance it was just so dope to see him finally wrestle in person i know some of y'all have seen him wrestle with jacob fatu and stuff like that so this was really dope and you know you can tell he's gonna be the future for sure maybe in wwe relatively soon so shout out to you zilla man you did your thing and everybody that was out there they did their thing it was a really enjoyable show for our first ever wrestling event i think we uh we we really um you know came out on the better side of things um the full video 
will be on the inner clutch page so I'm, that's why i'm not dropping any clips i'm not going to go into great detail but the full video will be uh uploaded on the inner clutch page and on patreon i think we're gonna do the whole unedited version of the video on patreon and then we'll probably edit it up chop it up a little bit more on on youtube so that should be coming out relatively soon soon so stay tuned to that i just wanted to talk about my first wrestling experience and hearing those chops and hearing you know seeing the 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 beats being had and the, the sweat beads flying everywhere it was intense like hearing people fall on the actual ring itself in person it's very loud it was very intense and it just makes me put even more respect on wrestlers out there because it's different when you see it on tv but when you hear it and see it in person it gives for me it gives that added more um respect to it and once again this ain't gonna be our only show we'll definitely go out there and support them again this was definitely dope um and other wrestling shows that may be in the city we'll try to do that as well but for our first one this was really really fun we had a great time yesterday made met some legends that we saw on tv it was cool and future legends that we may i'm not even may we will see on tv not even just zilla Fat 2 i think he's gonna be you know going up to wwe at some point um you know there's gonna be some other individuals out there that i think are going to you know make some names for themselves and it was really cool to know that some of you know the stars that are out there to now have you know pretty much come through the reality of wrestling um system like i didn't know jimmy and jay came from there i didn't know jacob fatu came from there sammy guevara came from there roxanne perez like these are individuals that came from this 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 wrestling school or this pro you know this promotion you know because i think it's the wrestling school is also can combine with it you know so people can kind of get their knowledge and get their reps up and and know what to do what not to do but they also have a promotion on the other side kind of like the performance center and then nxt it's the same thing and i guess this is like a pipeline for nxt and other other you know wrestling companies so and they have them on a banner and to see that i think that was really dope because it, it shows that this place is legit this is it's like nxt but not far from houston and i can appreciate that and you can see the history and and the love that the fans have for these wrestlers and I, it's just it's really dope to see man so hey be on the lookout for the video of, you know, that whole experience. I just wanted to talk to y'all about it, man. That's why I didn't really drop a video yesterday because I was literally filming all day yesterday um, doing the podcast and then going to the uh, reality of wrestling show. And that, that was pretty much it. Chopping it up with legends and stuff. It was it was really dope, man. So uh, once again, I want to give a special thanks to Brad Gilmore for inviting us, Booker T for having us, Mark Henry for pulling up with us, Zilla Fat 2 for rocking with us, man. This was really dope. And just reality of wrestling, um, you know, as a brand, as an entity, um, is, is really dope. And best believe we're going to be trying to do some more stuff with them. So stay tuned. So, hey, man, this was really dope. I can't wait for y'all to see the footage, man. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, some other wrestling related videos y'all want me to check out i definitely will gonna get back into the swing of things on the videos for the uh this particular page but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace